lady was supposed to wave. She's driving a Jeep. You have a responsibility. See, Chapel Museum Park, Elvis Birthplace. And then you got Kelly Street. Elvis lived on Kelly at one time. You have Barry Street right here. Elvis lived on Barry at one time. And then you have the birthplace right here. Where Elvis lived at one time as well. Yes, indeed he did. So I am here at the birthplace of Elvis right here, and Cup Guy, you need to come stop him, buddy. Why aren't you down here? You need to come stop him. You own that, right? Nope, you sure don't. So friends, I am sitting on the, the swing at the birth house, watching the racers go by. They're taking pictures of the birth house. I'm taking videos of them. So friends, if you have never been to the birth house of Elvis Presley, this is a beautiful place, especially this time of year. Look at how lush and green it is out here. Just beautiful. They have his church over there. That is the actual building. Now, it was not originally there. It was originally over on this street in two different places. But that is there. They have a chapel right here. They have the museum here. There's a movie theater in there. There's uh, all kinds of cool stuff. It's just really well done. And Elvis paid for this land, by the way, and the house. It was for sale when he was here in 56, 57, during that time frame. I think it was 56 that he gave him the check to buy the land and the house. He bought all this from Orville Bean's daughter. Miss Grimes, she was a school teacher. And she lived right up there, just on right up that street where the lady's coming, right there. She lived right up there on the right. But beautiful place, there's a fountain out here, a lot of nice history, and they even do a timeline. Look, 1935 in the front, Elvis and Jesse Guerin, which would have been born here, 36, 37, all the way back around to 77, just on the other side. Can you um, think back to Elvis being a child? Of course, he was a little baby when he lived here, but him being a child, even living in this neighborhood, he lived in several houses in this neighborhood. And think back to, he would have never in a million years thought that anything like this could be here, could happen. And this is a new historical marker, the birthplace. It says 57. So I was trying to think if it was 56 or 57, so it actually tells the story right here. It says the Elvis Presley Birthplace Park was begun with proceeds Elvis donated from his 1957 concert at the Mississippi Alabama Fair. Unchanged since it was built in the 30s, this two room birthplace sat unoccupied and in poor repair. As Elvis rose to start, and thousands of fans began to come to Tupelo to see his birthplace and wishing to see inside the house. Seeing a worthy project for the park and the city, the members of East Heights Garden Club took the initiative to open the house to fans. While members scrubbed and painted, their husbands made structural repairs needed for the safety for visitors. Requests for period furnishings were published in the local paper. All items in the refitted home were donated by area residents. When the house was opened in 1971, Garden Club members served as volunteer hostesses, often meeting fans outside Tupelo to guide them to the birthplace. Today the house stands as a memorial to a humble beginning of Elvis's amazing career and a fitting tribute to the vision and dedication of the women of East Heights Garden Club. See, people with vision, the Bible says where there's no vision, the people perish. They had a vision for that, and look at it today. Wow, unbelievable. And these are the charter members of the Garden Club that put this together. Virginia Boyd, Geneva Boyd, Ruby Burrow, Dot Carter, Mary Ruth Kaysen, Christine Cheney, Billy Kreider, Murtis Collins, Norma Davis, Velma Darty, Francis Elmore, Eileen Gibbons, Earlene Hall, Warren Heflin, Willene Hester, 
Colleen Merritt, Sarah Montgomery, Dot Moore, Julia Otis, Lorraine Palmer, Helen Ritchie, Betty Roberts, Francis Sheffield, Francis Lilly, Francis Long, Mildred Williman, Mary Ellen Wilson, and Mildred Merchant. Thank you, ladies, for seeing the vision to keep this alive and well. Thank you. Thank you very much. So in the park right down the street at Veterans Park, they had the Running with the King 5K at 7.30 a.m. on Saturday morning, June the 11th. Let's go. So friends, they're doing the run down here. You see them. That is the run. That is a fundraiser. And hey now, they are really, really getting after it. You see that lady's even wearing kind of Elvis shorts like the the gold lame suit they're really really going boy there's a lot of people in this run i'm i'm really shocked at how many hundreds and hundreds all right so they are all through I'm going to come through the park here towards Orville Bean's farm. So this guy right here is in the very front. Boy, he is a long ways away from everybody. I'm, this guy is up here by um, Orville Bean's daughter's house. And I'm looking back behind me, and they've got to come out of the park. There's still nobody coming out of the park. That's how far this guy is ahead of everybody else. Now he's going to turn right up there at that next street. Lady's pushing a stroller, boy. She's getting after it. So this is the end of it. And that lady right there. Wow, pushing a baby, that's got to be tough. That house right there is where Oval Bean's daughter, Miss Grimes, lived. And she was his school teacher at one point. All right, so friends, here we have Wendy, and uh, Wendy, you've helped us at the uh, at the museum before, uh -huh. and I appreciate that you with Mika, uh -huh. and so you ran this. I did. And what is it? Is it a fundraiser? It is. It, it's for the Mississippi Boys and Girls Club. Okay. So even now, Elvis is raising money. That's right. That's pretty cool. The Boys Club of Mississippi. Yeah, and you run in these kinds of things anyway. I do occasionally. Yeah. 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 I only run if something's chasing me. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> she came on. All right, great job. Uh oh, I missed it by a few seconds. You oh, came man. in second? Yes, I missed first by a few seconds. Wow. Amazing. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> You're disappointed for second? Yeah. Just a little faster, I could have got first. Yeah. So this is called Run with the King. In town this uh, weekend with all that, and first place with a time of 22:56, and I believe pushing a stroller Strowler. with two children in it. Yes. Rachel Fisher. That is a time of 22:56 with two children in the stroller. Second place, Wendy Cox. Go ahead, Wendy. Joining us from Alabama.
So friends, if any of y'all have seen recently the Top Gun series, that little place that you see right there on the back of the plane, that is to grab the cable. So that would have been on a carrier, on an aircraft carrier. And that is in the park here in Tupelo. And Orville Bean, his farm was in that treed area on the other side of, there's a road back there on the other side of the road. And Elvis's birth house is right over there. So if you're in this area, if you come to the birthplace, come over here and check this out. Right here. Very cool. Lastly, I decided to send the glory up. That's the museum right there at the birthplace. And I want you to see this in the back on the top of the hill. If you haven't been here, you need to come check this out. Look at this. Boom. Young Elvis. 70s Elvis. It's really well done. You can also drive up here if you don't want to walk from down there up there. There is a place to park. Another thing that they have here that is very interesting is the guitar-shaped pond. Roy Turner calls it the semi-guitar-shaped pond, and he's right. It's not perfect. They've talked about turning that blue and been unsuccessful so far, but you can see that it's kind of green. But it's beautiful down there, and it's also, you can walk kind of around it, and it's very, uh, it's a very nice place to go to. And then coming from there, if you go back to the birth house, the house is in the front. I'm going to fly across the museum, and that building that you'll see out in the distance on the other side, that's Elvis's church from when he was a little boy. And that is the actual church building. It used to be down at the end of Berry Street. Then they moved it up on Berry Street a little further where Elvis's house used to be. And then they moved it right here. And you actually get to go inside. Very cool stuff. Make sure you go check it out in Tupelo. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.